What's up, YouTube? Knife Crazy here. I got a uh, first for you on my channel. Um, it's the first I've ever owned. Uh, this is mine. Uh, this is a uh, Dwayne Dwyer Custom uh, SNG. Uh, get to see it here. Give you a, cu a couple of history lessons, I guess you'd say, if you're not really familiar with Dwayne Dwyer, but you do know this pattern of knife SNG. It looks like a Strider uh, SNG, which technically it, it is, sort of. Um, so Dwayne Dwyer and uh, Mick Strider founded Strider Knives back in 1992. Um, somewhere along uh, midway through the 2000 and year 2000, they decided to to go their separate ways and and uh, Dwyer started making knives and and of course Strider kept making knives so um, but they started making different things and uh, different types of knives I guess you would say but I, I'm assuming since they started the company together I don't know all the legals of it but he could still make the SNG and the SMFs and things like that and here you have it Check out this lock side. That titanium, the milled grooves in it, and then re, it's like a dark bronze and then re, re bronzed again. It's got some purples and stuff like that. And this side is just G10. That's actually milled, has grooves itself, contoured. Let's take a look at this blade. Check out that bad boy. This is from what I can understand. I think this is the gunmetal finish. It's kind of a, this is definitely, as you see here, um, you see almost like a Kind of like a hand rub type finish. That's how he does his signature. It's kind of, I guess it looks like it's done with an engraver, I'm assuming. But this is a chisel grind blade. As you see, this side is completely flat. And this is the show side with the bevel and the grind. This is CPM D2 steel right there. And I'm gonna try to pronounce it. It'll be uh, it'll be in the description, so you'll know how it's spelled. You can look it up. But this blade grind, um, from what I've looked up, is called the Hisatsu. Uh, H i s s a t s u. Hisatsu, I believe is how it's pronounced. And he still does currently make it. He makes it on his new uh, BBN model, which is very similar to the SNG, except imagine this part of the SNG gone, and that's kind of the BBN. It don't have this big hump here, it just kind of tapers down in the back. Kind of a, so that's his newer stuff. If you go on the website, you can see his newer stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to show it off. It's uh, I mean, don't come out. You very good detent on it. You can spotty flick, drop shut. You can thumb flick. You can slow open. But there it is. Just kind of want to show it off. It ain't really like a review or anything like that. I mean, it's just a, it's a custom. So if you like Striders, you like SNGs, uh, this is a cool one, cool one to have in a collection. They're hard to get. All the SNGs are hard to get. Um, find them, you got to find them on secondary. You got to find them used at you know, different places, online places that sell pre-owned knives and things like that. It's very hard to get a hold of brand new stuff. But 
there it is. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.